Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing you a super fun recipe that I know you guys are going to love for the summer. So this is my favorite whole food plant based um, burger patty that I make that you guys are going to adore and it's full of flavors and nutrients and I know it's going to be a family favorite. So what is really exciting about today is that it's actually a collaboration with three other YouTubers and I'm going to post their picture of their video above and I'll link everything again in my description box so you can go check out their recipes. But the collaboration is with The Veg Inspired, Soul in the Raw, and Vegan Wife Life. So those are three of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I've done some collaborations with them in the past and I'm going to do some more in the future. So I really like their channels. They um, promote a vegan lifestyle and um, most of them are whole food plant based and have some great tips. So uh, definitely check out their recipes as well. So we're going to get into our recipe today. This is our um, whole food plant based burger substitute and it's wonderful and I'll show you at the end that you can do so much more of it than just make burger patties and I know you guys are going to love it. So we're going to get started. So our main ingredient in this is a three green ingredient and I have all of them cooked ahead of time so you know guys don't have to watch me make them but it is a lentil, quinoa, and bulgur wheat um, three grain. So what I love about this is that, again, you're getting all of those really great nutrients and it's the grains that are making up the meal, the main thing of the, of the burger. So I'm going to explain to you guys how you do the grains because I have it all on my phone, but I will link it all in the description box below. But you're going to take three-fourths cups of lentils. I just use green lentils. You can use whatever kind of lentils you have. You're going to use three-fourths cups of boulder wheat and you're going to use half a cup of quinoa and you're going to cook that. Um, again, all of the water ratios to how to cook them will be in the description box below. But when it's done, you're going to let it cool because, again, we're going to be using our hands to kind of make these patties and you want it to be cool. So I am just have all three of our grains. It makes quite a lot. So this is a good recipe for a large family. You could cut this recipe in half if it's just um, two or three people, but this makes a lot. So it lasts great for meal prepping and everything else. You're going to make um, a flax egg ahead of time. So this is actually three tablespoons of flax seed and six tablespoons of water. So you want it to be not really runny, like it's like the water, I know you guys can't see it, but the water should be kind of with the seeds or with the ground meal that um, it looks like it's like gel gelatized. Um, so you're going to let that sit for just a little bit. That's going to be another binding ingredient. You're going to need half a cup of raw cashews. You're going to need some chives. I just um, bought these at the store and chopped them up. And our other vegetables that are already pre-chopped, so again, to kind of speed this video up, is you're going to need um, one leek, which looks like a giant green onion if you've never bought a leek before. You're going to need one whole red onion or white, whatever you want to use is fine, and two celery ribs. So I just cut up all of this and have it in here. What we're going to do now, and we still have spices to add, I'll get to that when we get to that point, but so far these are like the main building blocks to your patties, but we're going to pulse our cut up leek, onion, and celery in our food processor. We're also going to pulse our raw cashews, so I'm going to do the cashews first since this one is kind of, um, since there's more water in these vegetables, it'll be more slush, slush. so I would suggest doing your cashews first. And we're just going to pulse them till they're nice and finely ground up. So that was half a cup of cashews. I'm going to do that. Now that these are ground up, I'm just going to add them to our quinoa, that, that whole grain bowl that we have, the quinoa lentils and bulgur wheat. And into our food processor, you don't have to clean it. You can just add our celery, red onions, and the leaves. Smells so good at this point already. You can smell that onion and the leeks and celery really give off a nice smell. So we're gonna pulse this until it's smooth. And um, after it's smooth, we're gonna put it on a skillet and heat it through. So the nice part about this burger patty is that everything's pre-cooked. So of course you wanna get thick from 
any of like if you ate the batter at the end um, without making them patties and cooking them in the oven it's already done so you I love this because it's really um, like safety reasons obviously you're not gonna get um, food poisoning as long as all of your ingredients are you know you're cooking them when they're picking them when they're at a good cook you're not using like leaks from you know months <laughs> months ago um, as long as you're using fresh ingredients you're gonna be good on on not getting food poison um, so I'm gonna pulse this. We're gonna cook it on the skillet. After you brown it for about five to seven minutes, we're gonna drain out all the excess liquid and we're gonna add it to our main dish. So it's super easy. Um, takes only a couple minutes. The most part of it is all the chopping and the cooking of the greens. But after you get to this point, it's, it goes super fast. So I'm gonna go pulse this and I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm done pulsing it and it should look like everything kind of comes together um, very nicely and now I'm going to add to my skillet and heat it through and then after that I'll drain it and show you guys what it looks like at the end before we add it to our main dish. In the meantime while that's heating up we can add our chives into the main dish. I just bought a little package of chives at my grocery store really easy to find. Another thing you can do while it's cooking is you can add your miso. So instead of adding like a soy sauce that has so much sodium, I'm going to use a tablespoon of miso in a half a cup and I'm going to fill the rest with warm water and mix it in so the miso dissolves and then we're going to add that to our mixture. Just a little way of keeping the sodium down. Sorry if my shirt is super messy right now when you're cooking with things that have a lot of water doing stuff in the kitchen i tend to get a little messy so i just mix that over the sink and you're just going to mix it in until it gets kind of like a cloudy kind of like it looks like miso soup a little bit and now i'm going to dump it into our main mixture and that'll be our salt for the burger the celery and everything is almost finished, so now that my flax egg looks like it's kind of gelled up, we can also add that. And you can see it's super thick. Make sure you add all of that. That's going to be kind of what binds everything together. Um, mixture should be pretty much close to being done at that point, so I'd say between 5 and 7 minutes. I'm gonna let that cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna pretty much squeeze out all the liquid and put it into our into our mixture but right now you can start to mix up that flax egg and that miso that we just added to it all up large spoon I'm just gonna start mixing up everything to incorporate it We're also going to add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard to this. So I just open up and give a nice squeeze for my tablespoon. And we're going to add some hot sauce. This is like optional, again, if you don't like stuff that is a little bit more on the spicy side, you can omit this. But I um, lately have been really enjoying a little bit of heat in our food. So you can add some. You can smell that Dijon mustard as soon as you add it. But I'm going to add a good amount of hot sauce to mine. And then you're just going to mix it all up. And I'm just doing this all while I wait for this to cool down. And then if you want, you can add your favorite spices if you want paprika. If you want garlic, we didn't add any garlic to this, you can add some garlic powder. Um, or you can cut up some fresh garlic and add it. I love that this recipe is super um, customizable. Like you can add whatever you like. You put up red pepper flakes. You can add parsley, basil, cilantro, whatever you're in the mood for. You can kind of customize your patties. And you can see now that it's already getting kind of thick, which is great for when we form our patties. You don't have to form patties with these. You can literally eat it straight out of the bowl um, because everything's already cooked. You could make um, little meatballs with this. This is a re good recipe for that as well. Um, but our favorite way is having it with a patty. And um, 
it just it's like the perfect summer treat it's super light uh, you don't feel super heavy by it it's really good for you so instead of having even the veggie burgers that they prepackage aren't aren't really great for you so this is a good idea I did this for a family um, cookout and most of them were all gone by the end and it makes so much this whole thing weighs a ton and it would make probably like 20 to 25 burgers so depending on the size the only thing with these is I'll show you in a minute when we bake them, but they break a little bit easier because they are um, all of these grains. So you just want to be careful when you're making them. You don't want to make them too big for when they'll break apart. And when you're moving them from the parchment paper on your tray to like a burger bun, you need to be careful because sometimes they'll break. But for me, I don't care. It doesn't matter exactly if they stay together as long as it tastes good. So I'll show you guys how to add this now cool down I've already drained the water from it so you're just gonna take a handful of it and squeeze it out and then you're gonna add it straight into your mix so I'm just gonna fold it in to our mix this adds a lot of flavor to your burger so you don't want to leave this part out and once all of the green stuff is in there you just want to mix it up and um, it'll mix really well if you don't like celery you don't have to add it you know it's all whatever you'd like to add it's gonna look kind of like mush from adding the um, miso and the Dijon and our flax egg but that's good it's what you want it to look like you want it to look like it's gonna stick together like kind of like a batter now you could add mushrooms to this as well or when you put your pat on your patty you could add a bunch of different vegetables this is really great so now that our whole thing is done like so much seriously and it wastes a ton this make sure you have a big bowl when you're doing this um, and you can like I said you can cut the recipe down to be half if you don't want this much we're gonna form patties so I'm gonna get out a baking sheet and parchment paper I like using parchment paper um, that way you don't have to use oil and don't be worried about stuff sticking and we're gonna set our oven for 425 degrees so I'm gonna go preset that now once you line your parchment paper you're gonna form little patties I have clean hands and you're just gonna take about a dollop and just push them into little patties. It's gonna be a little bit more um, sticky or moist, um, but you'll see when they pop. But I'll give you a good um, view of it. Now you can make these as big as you want, but they might break, so just keep in mind that. And I just kind of form them when they're on the parchment paper into the pucks or burger size I want. So every oven is different. So I will let you know what my oven cooks. Usually I put them in for about 15 minutes and then flip them and do 15 minutes more. Um, but we'll see, it all kind of depends on your oven. Um, I would just keep an eye on, eye on them and then when they start getting brown on the one side and start really like holding together then you could flip them onto the other side to brown. You do want to flip these halfway through. <laughs> Lately, these have been our go-to burger recipes. And they're not gonna like pop up or anything, so you can get them pretty close to one another if you're trying to fit them, fit them together. There's not, nothing that's gonna make them rise. Pretty much the size you make here is the size it'll stay. 
Okay, I think I got my first pan done. It looks really good. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll show you guys an up close before I stick them in the oven. This is what your patties should look like after you form them. And you can see all the really great things inside of them. All the quinoa and lentils and celery and all of that. You can still definitely see it. But I'm going to pop them in the oven now for about 15 minutes and then I'll check back with you guys to see how they look. When they are able to move, I just flip them, you'll see that they hold together. They are careful. This one was one that I messed up when I flipped and I kind of messed up. A little bit of one down there but most of them should stay intact just be careful and slow when you do it and this took about 15 to 20 minutes till it browned on one side I'm gonna pop them back in to brown the other side but they smell so good so the patties came out of the oven and you'll know that they kind of stay together a little bit better when they're finished but you'll know they're ready to flip when you can like pop them up um, and you they don't fall apart so that's really what you want to look for when you're flipping them but they brown on each side and you could eat these on Ezekiel bread. On the muffin is usually my favorite. You'll see it in my thumbnail. Um, you could top it with ketchup, mustard, whatever you like. I'm gonna have a recipe for a vegan mayo, a whole food plant-based mayo coming out really soon. That's really good on these. Um, you can eat these as a side without bread. You can eat them in a lettuce wrap. Like I said, you can make like meatballs out of them. You can eat them however you want, but they are the perfect little lentil burgers. So good for you. And we'll replace that either the crap ingredient vegan burgers or it'll replace the um, the regular burger you guys were eating. And I know you guys are gonna love it because it, your whole kitchen will smell so good when it comes out. So if you make these, let me know in the comments below if you like this recipe um, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be doing a ton of more recipes coming out soon and make sure you follow all those other youtubers I'll have them all linked below um, they have some other great summer recipe ideas that you'll love and I will see you guys in the next one bye